Good morning, good afternoon, good evening everyone. This is Marcos and today I am making an unboxing video for official Sony PlayStation 2 PS2 network adapter. So this is the one I got and here I'm not going to show the address but uh, let's see first. Okay, here's the package and here's my PS2. So this might be a little bit tough to open it so I'm going to Pause the video and uh, uh, open it with the knife. Okay, so we're back. I have uh, unpackaged it sort of. Uh, I haven't got into it obviously yet, but uh, we're gonna do that right now. So let's see what's. Oh, nice. I'm not sure if I'll be able to uh, unpackage it just with one hand, but uh, here we go. Actually, I'll have to pause it again and pull it out most likely. Hmm. I can see the per peripherals already anyway, I'm gonna pause it. Okay, so nothing is in the box anymore. I've, uh, that was the only thing and I've pulled it out. And um, unfortunately it looks a little bit dirty. Hopefully it's not damaged, but here it is. I uh, don't know if you can see it. I'll use the light a little bit. Uh, it looks a bit uh, dirty. Actually here, oh, where you can see I can't show it with one hand. It's, it has the IDE uh, port, and this is the front. It has a sticker on it, and it's very di dirty, like I said. But uh, hopefully, uh, we'll be we will be able to plug it inside of the PS2, just with the screws itself, and we'll be able to screw it in. So I'll pause the video once again. Okay, so I've cleaned it a little bit with the cleaning thing and I've noticed uh, these two things, this one and this one, they made a little bit of a noise, actually you can move it, but this one is fine. I think the IDE ports are normal when they make the sound, but as you can see it's the official, god damn it, official Sony one, oh you can't even see it. I thought if I'd borrow my mouse phone, the quality would be much better, but apparently maybe uh, I should have just used my phone. Anyway, so now I'm going to install it and get back. Okay, just f so you can see, I'm going to take off the expansion bay right here. Oh, yeah, right there. And p screw, uh, screw these two screws onto, onto that. So I'll be right back. I won't be able to do this with one hand once again. Okay, so now I'll take it off. I've uh, unscrewed it. And so this is the thing we're taking off, the expansion bay. And here is where we will put the network adapter itself. So first of all, let's, let's see this. I've never done this before, so I'm going to pause the video just in case and just show you when it's done. Okay, so now we have the proper equipment, thanks to my father. So here's the tool I'm gonna use. It should be, it's actually perfect size. I don't know if you can see, but uh, yeah, it's good size. So, uh, how am I gonna do this? Okay, just, just like this. I have to make sure that it goes right inside. Like this, okay. <clears throat> and I'll just screw it. All right, as you can see, it's successfully screwed in. It's not falling off or anything. I've done it pretty tight, not too tight, just just so it uh, works. So I'm gonna put it over there and then use the Ethernet cable from here and put it into the back of that. All right, so now I'm going to take off the Ethernet cable as you can see it's flashing right now because the internet's going through so um, another thing I should probably mention is uh, that I've although I'm in Europe I bought the American one just in case it doesn't fit or something so yeah and I see I'm I can see I'm gonna have to uh, uh, edit the wiring now because it's too far and it doesn't go all the way here is where it stops so 
unfortunately I'm going to have to uh, change the wires a little bit. So I've managed to extend the wire a little bit underneath the table and fix it. And it's not ideal, but uh, it'll have to do for now. So let's see which one actually fits in there. So uh, I, I don't know why I can't see it. I can't, and it's at least from the phone view. Anyway, which one is actually going to... Yeah, it's going to be this one. Okay, I'll put it in and then get back recording. So it seems to fit perfectly. However, uh, it didn't click. Usually when I put it in the piece, it makes a little click. But here, no. So uh, I'm going to put in some game and see if it works or not. Let's see what happens if we turn it on. So uh, as you can see, it's in. It actually did click this time. So let's turn it on and see if the MAC address is showing up or not. Yes, it's going to flicker a little bit, but uh, I can't help that right now. So we'll just see if the thing is set up or if, if we have to do it manually. So version and no, the MAC address is not there. So I'll have to do it through a game first and then it's going to show up. Uh, so the game I've chosen for this is NHL 2005, with, which comes with Netplay. And I've uh, disabled the music just so I don't get this video copyrighted. However, let's go to game modes, play online and set this up. So yes, I don't remember what the settings are, but I'm going to have to rewire the computer again and look online on YouTube to find out. Okay, so... Let's see. I probably could actually uh, record this on the no usable. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, no usable uh, your net network configuration file exists. Okay, let's create that. So. Okay. Okay, so new. And. I noticed the PS2 makes some noise while the network adapter is in with the Ethernet cable. So I don't remember the settings like at all, but uh, we're gonna try it. So add setting, or maybe actually, okay, so this, and yeah, I'll have to uh, watch a guide on this. Okay, one, yes. Oh wow, it actually did find, find it nice. So it should be working. So let's go next. Next, uh, now this, I don't think that's required. Are a user ID and password required to access your provider? I don't think so, no. For this, we're gonna use automatic. For this, automatic as well. Okay, now uh, delete. And I'm going to call this, actually I'll pause the video and then get back to the recording once again. Okay, so I've called it PAL, which is the region of my PS2 and automatic in case you can't see it. So let's go right. Oh, there's actually a MAC address showing up. I better not show that. Because that's uh, sensitive information and personal stuff that you're not supposed to see. Okay, so the, se the settings are being saved. And let's see if, if, it, if the uh, connection test is going to work. Okay. The save has completed and test the connection. Let's see. I don't think it's going to work just yet, but uh, yeah, after I figure out how, how it works, then uh, it should work. And obviously I'm gonna have to put the hard drive inside as well because I've only got the, the network adapter with the ethernet itself, nothing else. Oh, press X to start connection. Okay, so, yeah, <laughs> all that has been said for nothing, I've been wasting time. Oh, the te connection test was successful, return to the network uh, settings menu, so it, so we did do it. Okay, uh, I'll pause the video once again. So before we go on playing on a game, uh, first I'm going to go into the first slot where the settings saved, and as you can see, your network configuration is there, right? here so if you go on to it, it's uh, 42 kilobytes 
and it shows the console with the uh, with the flash or the lightning. So uh, I'm gonna decide what game I'm gonna try, and then I'll get back into recording once again. I've decided to use the Star Wars Battlefront 2 so uh, the multiplayer button is actually there now then uh, I think internet is what I'm going to choose hopefully this is the correct one I really do hope so maybe I'm supposed to go online but uh, once a network a connection has been established this title does not disconnect from the network until the console reset has been performed okay so that's why the resetting has been happening Okay, so, uh, yeah, actually, where do we select? Never mind, I just press X, okay. Connect, connecting to network, busy, three seconds, four, five. Oh, and it actually seems to work in Europe, nice. Okay, accept. Authenticating, this is the DNAS. Oh, there was an error in the response from the DNS server, please check your network configuration. Maybe we have to set it differently or use the NTSC. Let's see if we use the LAN what happens. Okay. Maybe this is the one that will work. Because I don't remember if uh, you can use the automatic setting for all of them on in internet. Maybe it needs to be LAN. So... Uh, create. Accept. Uh, okay, and how do I st launch? Launch. Prepare for battle. Maybe this is the two player option and nothing else. Okay. There is actually two options. There's either Xlink Kai or there is the PS2 DNS. And there's actually more, but uh, I haven't got to try them yet apart from on the emulator itself. But I know LAN is used for online as well, so maybe it will uh, function. But if you're just alone there, then uh, yeah, there's no one there, so uh, I've done it wrong. Start game. Yes. Changing it or spawn point. Okay. So I have to uh, do a different game and uh, actually do it with a tutorial this time. Okay, so by now I have fully configured the PS2 and the network adapter stuff and I'm gonna put it in the description. I haven't actually played the uh, online yet this time, but uh, we're just gonna go to multiplayer and I'm going to show you that it works. So for the PS2 DNS is the internet. Uh, once. A network yeah, yeah I think I've already shown this and these are actually wrong this can be without uh, without power or the region stuff uh, so I'm just gonna remove that the next time so just PS2 DNS no need for putting the PAL or NTSC it's going to work regardless and for this one I'm using the NTSC game by the way because there is more players so this is the authentication Oh, there was an error this time. It worked last time. Interesting. Okay, let's try this again. Internet. Maybe there's no one this time. It did work last time. Oh, authentication successful. Would you like to create a GameSpy ID? No. Uh, and then join. Any, that's fine. Continue without saving. Just to show you. And as you can see, there's players, there's one player right there, one player right there, there's 24 slots. There's even ping showing. That's probably how far from you the players are. Uh, it's wbfgamers.com, PS2, some information. And for the first time, I'm going to try and play this now. Powered by GameSpy, I think it's called OpenSpy now for, for now. So, select, prepare for battle. I know you can't really see it, I'm sorry about that. And as you can see, it's loading. I've uh, disabled the sound and put the volume to zero just in case if there's any copyrighted music. So yeah. It's loading. Tips and tricks. Players must exit vehicles to pick up flags with the exception. 
special classes such as the Magna Guard are capable of initiating area effect effect buffs. Some are, whatever. It's going to load now, and we'll see if it works or not because I haven't actually played online yet. I've just been in the server browser, and that's all. And it does actually work. Uh, the player might be AFK, but the important thing to know is that it does work. And select command post. Select character. Huh. And change unit or spawn point. The waiting is kind of a little bit annoying, but what can we do, right? Okay. All right, and it does appear to to work. I have no idea where the other player is, but uh, yeah, I'm getting shot out right now. <laughs> Defeat. Interesting. Maybe we've run out of, out of time and I've connected too late. Uh, okay, team start. Oh, there's actually bots in here as well. It's not just the uh, count death. Is that the player? Is that his name? Let's see if we can find him. It would actually, this would actually show up on the ps2online.com website as well. But anyway, thank you very much for watching this. Uh, I'm going to put the, once again the Xlink Kai and PS2 DNS configuration in the description so that you know what, to, what the settings are. But that's it for now. So thank you so much for watching. I'm really grateful that this works. Hopefully I get to play other games as well. And that's all. So bye.